Now going back to Deputy Prime Minister Christopher Freeland, she's joined by Premier Ford and Ontario's Energy Minister for an announcement in Brantford. Let's listen in live now. This is about Canada today, and this is about Canada's future. This is about Indigenous prosperity, Indigenous people taking control of their lives and their economy. It's about Canada's clean economy future and our clean economy present and the jobs that we are creating today and for the future because that's where the world is going and Canada is going to get its share of those jobs. This is about collaboration between the private sector, three great companies here, and the public sector. And it's about collaboration between the federal government and a great provincial government that is a very important partner for us. So, you know, I'm sure everybody has their moments um, when they're worried. They're worried about things today and things are really uncertain in the world economy and things are tough for a lot of families around their kitchen tables. And I think people are concerned about the future and where things are going. And so I really want people to think about this specific announcement today because I think you can see in it the best of our country and how we are able to work together to build something even better. So that's why I'm here. I'm very excited. Okay, les trois dernières années ont vraiment montré que nous sommes meilleurs lorsque nous travaillons ensemble pour servir les Canadiens. Nous l'avons vu avec la remarquable relance économique du Canada après la récession qui a suivi la pandémie. L'FMI prévoit que le Canada connaîtra la plus forte croissance économique du G7 au quatrième trimestre du cette année. 800,000 more Canadians have jobs today than they did before COVID hit. Canada has recovered 126% of the jobs lost to COVID, and that compares to 112% in the U.S. It has been a remarkable jobs recovery. That recovery has been driven by the hard work of Canadians, by the hard work of amazing people who are here today, and it's also been driven by effective collaboration by governments across the country. One example of that is childcare. In part, as a result of the agreements we signed with every single province and territory, absolutely including Ontario, on early learning and childcare, the labor force participation rate for Canadian women in their prime working years is today at a record 85.6%. That is huge. That is one of the things driving our economy forward. That is one of the answers to the labor shortages that I'm sure if you want to interview the private sector people here, they will tell you about. So this work really is about jobs, 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 as Annette so eloquently said. We saw how effective collaboration between all levels of government can be for improving the lives of Canadians earlier this week. When we came together, the federal government, provinces and territories to strengthen Canada's universal, publicly funded health care system with a federal investment of more than $198 billion over the next 10 years. This is significant funding to address the crisis in our emergency rooms, operating rooms and pediatric hospitals to provide better access to family doctors and mental health care services. And as part of that plan, very critically, we announced $2 billion to support Indigenous communities as they invest in the health of their people. And in fact, uh, Chief Hill, 
very appropriately did not miss the opportunity to talk to me about that just this morning. Better health data and better outcomes for people here in Ontario and across the country. Now I want to acknowledge today that Premier Ford has been an important partner for the federal government in our conversations about this essential challenge from the very beginning. And I know our governments will continue to work together to get this over the finish line. I'm told he may have smoked a cigar or two with my colleague Dominic LeBlanc last, was it Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday night. Um, when I say that we as Canadians are at our best when we work together, that's not some political bromide. That's not some hopeful assertion. That is the reality. And today is a fantastic example of that. Working in partnership, Canada, Ontario, Six Nations of the Grand River, Enerstore, Northland, and Acon, we are building the largest battery storage project in Canada and one of the largest in the whole world. The future is right here. It's right there. It's being built right now. So I am proud to announce today that the Government of Canada is making this project possible with $50 million in funding from our Smart Renewables and Electrification Pathways program, and that is on top of $170 million in funding from the Canada Infrastructure Bank. This project is going to help create great jobs for people in Ontario. It will store and supply the clean electricity that our province needs, and it will help create economic opportunities for Indigenous communities like Six Nations. And I really want to recognize Chief Hill and Six Nations for their leadership. Reconciliation is a priority for our government. You know, I think it's a priority for all Canadians. I think we recognize that this is, you know, Canada is an amazing country, but we have an original sin, and reconciliation is the path forward. And I absolutely believe that Indigenous prosperity built through projects like this one is an essential part of the path to reconciliation. So thank you very much for your hard work, and thanks to everyone here for the hard work on that. Ce type de projet est ce que le Canada aura besoin dans les années à venir et notre gouvernement veut travailler avec le Premier ministre Ford et son équipe pour aider à bâtir une économie plus forte et plus durable ici en Ontario. La transition mondiale vers la corporeneutralité constitue la plus constitue the most important économique, des economic des transformation since the industrial Revolution itself. Canada is faced with an opportunity that comes up once a generation, which is to invest in a clean 21st century economy, one that can create more good jobs and build more prosperous and more dynamic communities from coast to coast. Critical minerals or batteries or electric vehicles, we need to ensure that we as a country seize these historic opportunities, this historic moment, and secure Canada's and Ontario's place in the clean economy the world is building today. There is a window open right now, and we have a choice. Do we jump through that window? Do we seize that opportunity? or do we get left behind? And I can tell you what our government is committed to, and I'm pretty sure you're going to hear that Premier Ford's committed as well. Seizing this opportunity will be one of our government's primary focuses this year. And we know that we can't do it alone. We need partners, like the partners you see here today. This is a time of real fiscal constraint at the federal level. The federal government provided eight out of every ten dollars to support Canadians and the Canadian economy during the pandemic, and our ability to spend is not infinite. Like our investment in healthcare, 
our response to the Inflation Reduction Act and our broader investments in Canada's clean economy are historic imperatives. We must act and we know it. And like strengthening our health care system, this must be a Team Canada effort. So, as I discussed with my provincial and territorial counterparts at the Finance Minister's meeting in Toronto exactly a week ago, we are looking forward to working with the provinces and territories to invest alongside the federal government as we build a thriving 21st century Canadian economy. Just as we have so often worked together over the past three years, as we were sitting at a table, well, I wasn't actually at the table, I was at a row behind, but as the first ministers were sitting at a table in Ottawa on Tuesday, I am looking forward to continuing to working with Premier Ford. Our government is looking forward to continuing to work with Premier Ford and his government to grow our economy and create great jobs for people across Ontario and across Canada. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Miigwech. Oh, sorry, Smitty. Uh, I'll be short and sweet. How about that? Huh? Uh, <laughs> good morning, everyone. <laughs> Deputy Prime Minister. And this Freeland, announcement Agri is from both the morning. federal and provincial government. They're joining forces to build the largest electric battery storage project in the country. The federal government is actually providing. $50 million for this, and this project will be developed with the Six Nations of the Grand River Development Corporation. The hope is to provide more affordable energy, clean energy for generations to come.